story of the play is that we're in ancient Greece. The Peloponnesian War has been going on for about 20 years with no end in sight. And so this woman, Lysistrata, or Lysistrata, decides that the best way to stop the war is to get all the women of Greece together and get them to stop having sex, deny sex to their, their husbands, their boyfriends, until the men lay down their arms. Lysistrata is, means the one who unties, undoes the army, breaks the ranks. It is in fact the command that an officer gives to the troops to break into chaotic and personal movement and to disband. So Lysistrata is the one who um, breaks down military order. What's particularly feminine is that they have a two-pronged two plan of attack. <laughs> While they're sort of distracting the men, they're actually also going and cutting them, cutting them off at the treasury. So that the, the play isn't just about fun and games. There actually is a, a political and financial takeover that Lysistrata also orchestrates. A lot of Athenian drama, including Aristophanes' comedies, attests to male anxieties about women that women are potentially dangerous, especially if they begin to do things outside the home. When women step into that male sphere of action, and especially when they pick up a weapon, that they are dangerous. But what is maybe different about a play like Lysistrata is it not only taps into that anxiety, it seems to also ask its audience to think critically about it.